Hello everyone, welcome to another playthrough Steam Gifts. Today we will be playing through Consortium, which I recently won at Steam Gifts uh, under the playing playing. Well, I always forget the damn name. Let's say playing appreciated group. Okay, so this is the group. You can see it right here. So this group, whatever game you win, uh, they want you to play it, and. Uh, I try to also stream while playing to prove that you play. You don't have to as part of the group, but you know, it's uh, nice if you do. So the game is currently preparing to launch. Don't know what the hell it's doing. Few updates. Oh, yeah, an update this June. Okay. Still taking a while. That's fine. We're not in a hurry. So, Steam sale has been happening uh, this past weekend. Uh, this past last three, four days. Uh, I got only three games out of it so far. I got Doom. Uh, the reboot. Uh, I got Out of All Boyfriend the Holiday Special. And what else did I get? I got Shadow of Mordor, which was also on sale quite decently. So I got only those three games. But yeah. So waiting for the install. Just a second. Four minutes. It's like downloading the entire internet. Oh, it's four gigabytes big. Okay. Bum 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 bum. Do do do. Da 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 da. Hey, evil. Doing elevator music, waiting for the game to finish. How's your car going? Did you end up paying a lot to get it repaired, or is it fine now? Still broke? Well, that sucks. Is it expensive to fix or you don't know? <laughs> oh, you haven't taken it to the mechanic yet? Okay, that sucks. You have to think positive. At least without a car, you will get less expenses on fuel. So, yeah. And uh, catching the tram all the time, you might even uh, start to read more. So, you have to think positive. You can take uh, some schoolwork stuff and read it while you're on the metro. One minute left. Dum, do, 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 dum, dum. Come on. Come on. <coughs> Ooh, 
one week and three days already in the in the mechanic and he hasn't given you an estimate yet okay that sucks okay we should be ready to play the game now uh, let's go back to games consortium it's right here okay boom wow 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 IDGI is this our future? Imagine a future where we have solved many of the problems plaguing humanity today. Food and energy are issues of the past, and human beings have established orbital and lunar colonies. Lunar colonies are good. We here at IDGI have invented a satellite capable of transporting you to this not so distant future. And the rest is up to you. Welcome to the future where you have to allow access from your firewall. I'll take this wonderful opportunity to put the game a little lower. And yeah. Welcome to Consortium. We wanted to let you all know that work has earnestly begun on the sequel to this experience entitled Consortium The Tower. Okay, I don't care. I'm playing Consortium now, not The Tower. So... I guess... First time? I'm about to activate the Pearl Rift through space and time, which will allow unprecedented access to an alternate version of Earth in the year 2042. You will be given speech and motor control over another human being within this other world, and will be responsible for altering and improving upon their world's regular course of events through informed action. This decision is not to be taken lightly. Everyone you are about to meet is real, and everything you do will affect countless lives with limitless consequences. By pressing agree, blah 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 blah, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna put the sound a little lower. Uh, also for me. It's a lot like hell. Okay, back to the game. Did it crash? That would have been great. No, still loading, I think. So, what was that? Pop up? There's no pop up. Or well, now it crashed, I guess. Another pop up? Ah, it works. Okay, fine. WSAD. Oh, my camera stopped working. That's great. Okay, I can look around. Uh, let me fix the camera first. Webcam, properties. I guess I will just turn it off and on again. Yeah, now it works. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Oh, up, down. Okay, let's go forward. I can jump! Woohoo! An interdimensional experience. With lines and shit. And red strobes. Errors detected in K1 coupling data stream. That's bad. And some weird. Alien language telling me that I'm fucked. And there's some guy. I guess that's the guy I'm taking over. Okay. Early this morning at the water fluids. Twenty one workers were found dead in the car. Salt out information complete. Lock and open. Emergency personnel on site reported as Battle utility suits. Twenty one 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 Come in. Dead. Who is it? It's Rook twenty five. Will you open the door? No. I don't want to open the door. Yeah, fine, whatever. Uh, from here in London. Uh, I'm Malcolm Thomas. I can't even answer anything else. Anyway. You better be dressed. 
Oh, she's coming in anyway. Nice. Hello there. Mark 25. Better. Not so sorry to wake you, Bishop. We thought you should know about our little escort. Sure. Um. Maybe I should uh, just say nothing. Okay. So let's get you suited up and ready to kick some homeless arse. Here are your basic consortium tools. You got your PCU, BUS and assault helmet, all specifically tailored to fit you nice and snug. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> yes, yes I did. The group we're up against here are unofficially called the Homeless Mercenaries. Okay, I'm gonna kick some homeless ass then. Uh, and uh, I think F2 will be a newbie question. That's because they're not tough, not even remotely. Oh, you'll see. The K will stomp this one flat, and you'll witness firsthand how it's done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've never used this equipment before. The bloody oh, BUS alone is so expensive. We're one of the only agencies in the world who use it. Think SSK, only with built-in hardpoint sockets. Yeah, SSK, of course. Uh, yeah, Spider, let's ask. Spider, silk, Kevlar. Uh, are you sure you're all right? The K mentioned your final mission for your last outfit was a real mess. Nearly got yourself killed. Yeah, maybe I should stop answering weird stuff. Uh, well, yeah. yippee ki yay, Mother Goddess. Honestly, Mother Goddess. Either one. <laughs> you know what? You're acting a little lopsided. Maybe you should go and see Rook 13 in the med bay. I'll tell him you may be coming. It's your choice whether or not to go, of course, but I think it's better to be safe, right? We don't want a banged up bishop on our hands. So I'm like now, chess. Pawn 7 and I have some CCU maintenance to take care of in the lower crawl. Feel free to wander the ship and meet your new crew, or maybe hit up the virtual trainer and complete your bishop training scenario. The VT is at the end of the hall, next to the elevator. Oh, and don't forget to go and get your CMC from the K. You can find of your course. mission operations at the end of the hall to your right. Right, I'm really gonna remember all that. Uh, okay, now let's recycle this, whatever it is. And do anything here. Close and lock. So, I think she said go there. Is there a map? Tab. Equipment. Our information, blah blah blah. Uh, no map. Send Lil. Six, welcome to mission operations. Well, first hello there. First, here is your consortium mind communicator. Why, thank you. Please, just call it a CMC. Hearing consortium mind communicator over and over just gives me a headache. Consortium officers only need to think what we'd like to say to each other, and the CMC will do the rest. Hey, Olga, welcome to the stream. This is Consortium. I see. Well, if there's anything else I can do to help, you let him sweat it out. Maybe he'll lose Thank interest you, sir. and go away. Angelov has done this plenty of times before. Once we clear Bulgarian airspace, he'll scamper off to whatever cave he crawled out of. I have no clue what the hell I'm supposed to do. I'll just answer stuff. Um, Isn't okay. that obvious? We've been dealing with him and his homeless mercs since his president father sided with us a couple years back. I say we shut them down. I lack your enthusiasm. I really do. But the last thing we want, however, is for this to turn violent. I'm becoming rather tired of forcibly having to hurt Angelov's men. Yeah. Violence is bad, kids, okay? Okay, Six, before you move on to something else, I wanted you to officially meet Rook Nine, Captain of Zenlil. Good I be. Glad to have you here with us. 
And the name is actually Wade. Uh, just stick to Wade. Lay off the Rook 9 nonsense, eh? Where is he? Once Thanks, the last Wade. Our friend Angelov here. Come and see me in the cockpit. I've got some extra rare scotch I've been itching to share with someone. Thank okay, God. so the cockpit. I really miss having someone to drink with. Wade, Wade! Just stop right there, please. He's only kidding, Six. Or at least he better be. So hey, all kidding aside, give me just a few minutes to finish up this diagnostic, and then I'd like to get a look at you in person. For now, I want you to walk around a little and meet your new crew. Most sure. Of them are eager to meet you. I can walk around. I'm a walk aroundable person. So we're all like chess parts of some sort. I'm a bishop, she's a knight. There are shitloads of pawns around. This is David Benedict. Uh, hey, hi. How, how are you? Oh, oh my gosh. You're Bishop Six. Oh, it's, oh my god. It's amazing to meet you. Uh, did you know that I'm the old so Bishop happy to meet you. Consortium? Early 2040? Yep, he just up and left. He's a stay at home dad now. Go figure. Uh, he lives in Florida with his wife and his two kids. Beautiful Florida's family. nice. Beautiful, beautiful family. Beautiful. Love them. Amazing. Okay. Thanks for that. You are most welcome. Um, do you need anything else? From me. No, I think I'm good. You oh, talk um, way too I'm, much. Uh, I, I'm gonna go back to work now. Then, um, uh, maybe we could go get a drink sometime together. Oh yeah. Um, my sister, she, she'd love an autograph from you. <laughs> yeah. Let's I think go he's on played a date. too many consortium video games. Let's go on a date. Okay, see what this is? It just recharges. Whatever it is, you can charge more and more and more and more. Okay, I guess I should have a charged up suit for some reason. Never know when you're gonna need some charge. Let's find out what's up on the rest of the ship. There was a doctor I was supposed to see. It's the exterior door. This is rooms. Uh, medics should be down, I guess. Food supplements. Recycle. Utility full. Okay, let's go down, I guess. Uh, next one. Dum da dum. Da dum. Brick control. Cycle. Let's see what's up here. I don't care. I do not deserve this kind of treatment. And it's time she understands this. <laughs> what kind of treatment? You've only been here a month and you're already complaining. Well, chumps. How do you... Okay. Can I talk with this? No. Is there anything down there? But I will not let her push me around. Don't yes, let her push you around. Stand your ground, matey, Pawn Forge and Skogan. Good afternoon, Bishop. I'm sorry you had to hear all that. No problem. Yeah, what's his problem? <laughs> Rook 25's just been acting a little... Well, a Stupid. little more strict lately. And Pawn 4 here just thinks he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Doesn't understand why she can't be nice to him. Sliced bread is overrated. Like a real bitch. Apparently, she has been like this since Bishop Eight left. That sucks. I think he's being rude. Well, you're certainly no fun. If I had known Bishop Eight, I bet I would say he's a lot more fun than you. Ah, insubordination, eh? He's new and probably won't last past the holidays. And yep. for that matter, it's really no wonder he's got nowhere else to be for Christmas. Tell me something. What made you strive to become a bishop? Fuck me if I know. Um, uh, fight crime? <laughs> well, the world is actually doing a pretty good job of saving itself. The end of a massive world war tends to do that. But everything comes back around eventually. And we'll yeah. be here when it does. Another world war. 
Okay, maybe I we really should. I didn't expect that from you. <clears throat> well, from a bishop, I mean. And okay. yes, I completely agree. The consortium can potentially make all the difference this time around. Okay. So, what do, do you do around here? Pawns four and seven. On a regular day, my job consists of mostly mission pod maintenance and repairs. We're currently running on a skeleton crew, however, and so I tend to handle quite a bit more. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Bishop, but I've got some work in Upper Avionics to take care of. Wade mentioned something about environmental monitors acting funny, and he wants me to check it out. I really don't know what kind of game this is, Evil, to tell you the truth. I just started playing, I didn't even look at uh, what was saying on the description of the game. So I really don't know. I'm flying blind. What's this? Something strange that looks like an elevator, because it is one. Okay. Let's go back down. Uh, another down. I want to go to the medic bay. Where it should be here. Oh, they have jails. Okay. Systematic. Hello, Mr. Medic. Bishop Six, welcome to the medical bay. This place Thank is you. disastrous. I do apologize. Oh, come on, Kieran. Greet our new bishop. Bishop? All right, B. Nice I'm unlocking my sanctum. Uh, cockpit. Come by and say hi. Okay. Uh, Through your MUVI, it. the device I implanted behind your ear when you first boarded Zenlo. I told you this before. I can monitor all of your vitals and even help in more severe emergencies. So he's... he's stalking me. Medical oh. utility visual implant. Okay. And UVI. I told you this too when I stuck it in you. It's mostly used to project your heads up display. I can also remotely access your MUVI to help prioritize your healing nanites for maximum efficiency. Oh, please. I want maximum efficiency. Uh, real tube yes. TV. It is a 32 inch Toshiba from 1995. One of the many televisions I've managed to acquire over the years. The best in my collection is a three-inch General Electric Octagon from 1928. Okay. Notice he is actually proud of that fact. <laughs> Your what? Uh, whoops. Yes, I do. Hmm. Anything that came before 3D, I will watch. But you did not mean that. You said movies from your time. Yeah, it's you know. Okay, I'm going to come this clean. True. Then what are you doing here? Yes, Bishop, indulge him. I'm just sightseeing. I'm trying through time and space to be here. Yet you do not understand your purpose. Is your arrival uh, here a mistake? Uh, I'm just here for the food. Such as Kira from Continuum. <laughs> I tried to warn you, Bishop. He loves his sci-fi. So. You are saying that we are in some sort of pseudo-matrix scenario. Are you Neo? What is a matrix scenario? No, anyways? I'm not Neo. Actually, never mind. Don't tell me. I'm the hot girl Trinity. Everyone knows that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come clean. And how did you initiate transport? Some sort of device or vehicle? Maybe a phone booth? <laughs> uh, that's you ridiculous. You only kidding around, right? Excellent. This rift to another dimension is thus created by your satellite, or does the satellite merely utilize something already present in space? Oh, can we please change the subject now? No, I'm going to explain IDGI. everything. I recognize that. Good choice. And it is interesting that there are 21 of these packets. I wonder why that is. Interdimensional games? You really remember them, Kieran? It was before my time, but they had that game, Anti-War. My father used to talk about it all the time. Anti-War? It was one of his favorites.
So the connection is made on this end, through the King of the Consortium. I did not expect this turn of events. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. It's not fascinating, it's ridiculous. You're both ridiculous and crazy. You know, Bishop, Alana was telling me you were acting strange earlier. Said you seemed a little mixed up. Wow, well, I just explained sure. to you why I was mixed up. Why the hell do I need to Yeah, whatever. This will just take a few seconds. Yeah, well I got nothing else to do. How is that even possible? I'm not entirely sure. Bishop, you have more simultaneous synapses firing than what should be possible. It's as if there are two of you. House within the same brain. No, I multiplied. It can't be. You weren't telling the. No. It would seem to fit, would it not? If he is from another dimension, inhabiting this body, then his brain scan theoretically makes sense. This must be some kind of prank. Whatever this is, I'd certainly like to run some more scans from our base in BC. Maybe after your induction ceremony. Now. We've got a lot more cleaning to do around here. Oh, <laughs> you mean you do? I will return to my command VR, if there is nothing else you need, Bishop. Uh... Good day, Bishop. It was really nice meeting you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, that did nothing. I guess I should go talk to the captain. It should be upstairs. Tech 2. Be that door. Yeah. Okay, Mum. Look, we need to say goodbye now. No, no, no. Don't, don't tell me to shut my mouth. It's not nice. No, no Mum. You need to rest. Yes, rest is good. We'll we'll talk later tonight when you're feeling better. Yeah. Goodbye, Mum. Ah, <laughs> sorry about that, V. Welcome to the nerve center of everything, Zenlil. You see all those buttons and switches all over the place? There I are buttons. Know what they do, every one of them. Oh. <laughs> very impressive. Very impressive. Okay, let's <laughs> get some drinking. I wish I was being serious. It's not like this plane doesn't fly itself anyway. A drunk captain wouldn't make much a difference. So, Fly Zenzla, what do you do in a regular day? Okay, let's see what other options there are. Okay. Yeah, it sure was. Second greatest love of my life. She's had Alzheimer's for a few years now. Yeah. I'll try and call her when I can. I'll visit whenever I'm back in Perth. Okay. <laughs> You've got it. I haven't had a flesh and blood partner since first taking this captain's chair. But I say who needs them? Am I right? Besides, I've always got me mum. Yep. Can never replace a mother. Uh, I don't know what to answer. Hmm. I guess I'll make fun yeah, of him. You'll be eating those words after enough years working for this outfit. Work is now officially your life. You may as well pick something to be your new girlfriend. Maybe your PCU? You could call her Linda. Linda. Okay. Oh, good. That's my mum's name, and she likes the young ones. Okay, RPG adventure. Okay. So we're in for a lot of text, I guess. Young ones. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you're right. It's this bloody Aussie tug of mine. Always wagging away without asking my brain for permission. 
why is the ship moving? Um, okay, no so problem. Let's move is there on. anything else you need? I've got something here I need to concentrate on. Sure, concentrate. Um, do you I appreciate help? the offer, but no, don't sweat it. The king and I have got everything under control. We'll find the bastard. And hey, welcome to the consortium. Okay, thank you for oh, having me. Odd. What's up? Something just tripped security sensors on Bishop 8's old bus locker. The keypad was accessed. Uh oh, that doesn't sound nice. Ah, it's a long story, but essentially the company we use for recycling most of our equipment hasn't been available to pick it up for weeks. So Is that a Bates old shadow plane over there? What the hell? Work order issues and double bookings. But that's a bug. The whole company is going down. Screenshot of bug. Should I go and take a look? That seems a little strange. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah. Hey, why not? Say yeah, why not? Trip. I wouldn't be surprised to find it's just another glitch. Zen Leal's been acting mighty strange today. It's Although a glitch in the, the Matrix. The locker itself is separate from the ship's primary systems right now. It's bloody well disconnected. Hmm. Well, if you're up for it, I'd appreciate the help. The cabin's right across from yours. You can't miss it. Go take oh. a look, and I'll keep an eye out through your CMC. Okay. Okay, sounds good. And then my cabin was this one, I think. So should be that. And why is everything dark? What the hell? And then I loaded a scenario. Okay, that was weird. I didn't get what the hell happened right there. Everything went dark, and then the only thing that was lit loaded a scenario. Welcome to the introductory Consortium Bishop training scenario. I'm Rook25, and I'll be your guide for today. Okay. Jump onto the platform. Oh, this is like the tutorial. Your personal containment unit can store matter in energy form and has built-in healing and repairing functions. It is also capable of transforming small, solid matter objects directly into utility energy. You see the floating pieces of junk around the platform. Use your PC unit. Okay. After I had already figured out how to do stuff, I have to do the tutorial. What now? That mean looking robot is about to shoot you. Oh no, don't shoot me. That looked like it hurt. You can put the energy to power your medical nanites. Either select the numbered slot on your HUD to auto heal your injuries over time. Ah, six. The battle utility suit and assault helmet represent your basic combat protection gear. Okay. Except that I don't know how to fire. Um, now what? Oh, I can... Maybe punch him? If you want to fix damage gear, either select the numbered slot in your HUD to auto-repair your armor okay. over time, or select individual armor pieces to repair from your inventory. I'm fine. Let's have another robot. No, I don't know, Olga. I think you can get better stuff for 249. It's not that good. Well, at least I'm not very convinced just yet. Bearing uses less energy, okay. Jump into the platform, okay. 
Civilians, you must protect them. Consortium Energy Assault Rifle, or SEER, is your best non-lethal combat solution. Okay. There's good guys or bad guys? Using primary firing mode, the SEER projects a multi-target sonic pulse that can knock down nearly any unshielded enemy. I love the consortium. Okay. Come on. Follow me. More? After bringing your enemies down, get up close. Stick them with nanites to incapacitate them in. Oh. Yeah, I already did that part. They call. Notice that you can inject multiple targets simultaneously. They're always incapacitated. Who's shooting? No. No. You guys should leave them incapacitated so that new ones don't spawn. Maybe that's the trick. Capacitated triggers. Okay. Oh yeah, that was the objective. The kinetic assault rifle, or CAR, is your alternate combat weapon choice. And unlike the SEER, it does not need utility energy to function. And instead requires physical ammunition. Go grab one now. Uh, other games that are good on Steam right now. Well, there are a lot of ones. I I bought um, Shadow of Mordor, which was on sale for I believe three ninety nine. That one was pretty good and uh, relatively cheap. Let's see if I can get these guys. Where am I supposed to take them? Here, maybe. And I don't know what other games are out there uh, right now. Um, yeah, yeah, a bit too much talk, but I don't know. It's okay, it might just not be very good for a live stream. Neutralize all targets. Rounds capable of tearing bad guy shields to shreds. It is also equipped with consortium issue non-lethal shock grenades. Okay, uh, I wish I could go out of the tutorial. Now, use the car to either kill or incapacitate the no. There. Okay, I'm, I finished up the scenario. Okay, can I go away now? Stand in the middle to spawn more robots. I don't want more robots. I want to leave. I really wish I could go for the exit. Maybe I should be saving the civilians. Yeah. 
so I let all the civilians die, basically. Oh, I can save one. Yeah, but where are we supposed to go? What are we supposed to do? There's no information. Well, if you like games like Among the Island and Grim Fandango, uh, there are a few new ones that came out. Um, there's a very good one called Thimbleweed Park, I believe. That's very highly rated. And they're also doing the remakes of um, those kind of adventure point-and-click games. There's a remake of Monkey Island itself, a remake of Day of the Tentacle, which is also awesome. Uh, Green Fandango is also out. There's a new Broken Sword, which is also on sale on Steam right now. I think it's Broken Sword 6 or 5, I'm not sure. And Full Throttle also just got a remake. So if you haven't played one of those, those might be a better buy. There are a few other text adventure games, not text adventure, but uh, point and click adventure games around as well. Uh, I don't remember the titles. I have some on my wish list, but I don't have them all. I don't know the titles by heart right now. Yeah, but Thimbleweed Park has been getting really good reviews, so at least check that one. It's not very cheap, it's like 13 euros I think right now, because it was just released a little while ago. But people are saying that it's really good, so... Should I be taking the civilian here? I don't know what to do to exit the scenario. Okay, maybe I should go here? I don't know. Continue. Load previous states. Maybe. Let's try the previous one. Is it loading? No. What about now? Oh, there's a load button, okay. Okay. No, not okay. This is not what I want. I wanted the previous one. Escape, load previous state. This one maybe. Load. Okay, so this is what I wanted to check. So I went there by mistake, and I should probably go here, which I can't see anything. Ice. Wait, lock down that cabin immediately. Why you ahead of your boss? Is that pawn seven? But I, I was just with him two minutes ago. What happened? And now he's Rook dead. 13, will you please quietly get up there, and don't tell pawn twenty four anything. We need to contain this before the whole ship finds out. Yes, sir. On my way. And I'm sorry, Six, but I need you there. At least until Rook 13 can take a look. Good. Okay. Just until Rook 13 can determine it was an accident. 
I'm not about to believe someone committed murder on my ship. Murder. Well, okay, there's wait. Let me in. My gods. I just let him go on his lunch break. He was complaining about having skipped breakfast. I I was only trying to be nice for once. Breakfast Lada, can kill you. you. Nothing to blame yourself for. If there is someone to blame for this, then I trust he or she will come forward on their own. Wait, I am here. I just can't believe he's dead. I've been such a bitch to him lately. The you are more horror. Often than not a bitch to everyone, not only Pawn Seven. Take that. I can blame myself if I want to, thank you very much. If I had only kept acting the hard ass, he would still be with me in the crawl right now. It looks as though someone threw his head against the locker panel with enough force to nearly cave in his skull. This was absolutely no accident. Thank Whoops. you, Kieran. You are not going to like this, but I want you all to exit the room immediately. Nobody gets in or out, not until we reach Ireland. Are you kidding me? At least let us move him to the med containment unit. Here, Kieran, help me put him on the bed. Is that some kind of joke? It doesn't matter. Let them move him. We've got all the evidence we need for our people in Ireland to figure out exactly who else was there. Yeah, Ireland is going to reconstitute a crime scene. A crime scene. Sometimes over emotional. Okay. My book. What was that, Kieran? Your book? Mind explaining what your book was doing under the dead body of one of my pawns? I cannot explain that to you because I do not know. I noticed it was missing from the med bay this morning. I simply assumed someone had borrowed it. I was apparently correct. Some call it the Guardian Church Bible, but I do not know why. It is mostly just a collection of inspirational stories about church members. A best of from headway meetings around the world. Okay. At least half, maybe even three quarters of us. It is not uncommon for consortium officers to be guardian church members. And I don't see why that matters, Six. We have a dead body on our hands. We can deal with the book later. Now, Alana, I hear your concern. But we can't risk someone seeing you move his body to the med bay. I'm sorry, but forget about the containment unit for now. All of you, listen to me very carefully. This stays between us. I swear that we'll get to the truth when we land in Ireland and we can question everyone individually. I really don't think waiting is a good idea. Someone on board this plane just killed one of my people and I want to know who. She's a if great ventriloquist. So string him up and throw him in the brig. I'll help you find the killer. This is not a democracy. No matter what you two may think. Now, if you don't mind, get your asses out of that room. Yes, sir. This is so bloody insane. A murder on a C-3800. It can't be real. I'm going back in the crawl. Okay. Let's go. Hey guys, I think I've got something here. I've been keeping a line open on our two fighter escorts outside, hoping they'd break the silence and speak to Angelov. Well, one of them just did. And, uh, well, you gotta hear this for yourselves. Tell me if you want me to patch the recording through your CMC. Yeah. Alright, B, here it comes. This is Operation Forerunner, calling for Angelov. Come in, Angelov. What do you want? I told you to be silent until the next phase. I know, sir, but but I'm having second thoughts about all of this. Uh, the plane is, well, it, it, it's very large, sir. And so the harder it will fall, yes? Remain where you are, or... Wait a minute. Is this line secure? Did you run this call through the program I told you to use? Oh, no, sir. I guess I did not. I'm sorry, sir. Just hold your Very position smart. and wait till the next phase. And wait. If you're listening to this, and I know that you are, you can tell your knight that her new bishop is about to have a very bad day. Nice. Alright everyone, that puts us on high alert. 
I want you all prepared for whatever this next phase turns out to be. <laughs> Destruction. Yes, but you won't catch me worrying. Right. Now what am I supposed to do? See if I can talk with him again. Nope. There is stuff, I can interact with this. Doesn't really do much. Interact with this. Doesn't really do much either. I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you're busy. Uh, mission information. Complete the bishop training scenario in the virtual trainer. Explore sense of limit your new crew. Uh, do I really do have to do the mission training? Because I just left it because it was fucking boring like hell. Maybe if I just talk with everyone. And now that you've said it, how do you feel? One, play nice now or I'll cut your vacay in half. He's still just a little sore over Bishop 8 leaving us. Like a big baby. It's not funny, sir. You deserve better, much better. Don't look at me, Six. Why don't you ask him? And he won't answer. Okay. Well, your career record alone doesn't stand up to half the other candidates. And then there's your personal life. My god, don't even get me started there. Uh-huh. Well, I've also personally spoken to some of your previous commanders, and they all tell me that you were and I was what? What? What, what was that? What vessel and wh why was your voice all Wait a minute. That was the king's voice. Holy hell, that was such a good impression. Pretty incredible, Six. Can you do anyone else? Um, it's gonna fuck up, but yeah, let's... You are dismissed, then. I'm sorry about him. Don't let it bother you. He's been rather attached to Bishop Eight since Eight saved his life the fourth or fifth time. Okay. You could say that. He was well liked by most of the crew, but between you and I, it was his time to move on. His incredible luck was running out. Hmm. Right then. <laughs> You'll see most of us doing it. It's thanks to the MUVI implant and is how we interface with our own HUD and can remotely interact with numerous systems. You don't have the same sort of access with yours, but you do use your hands, likely without even knowing it, when you open and close your inventory. No time to waste. We can talk more later. Maybe after Angelov stops beating his chest and goes home. Okay. Let's see what's up here. My sister's going as well. She's never been to the theater before. Being a hologram in the seats, it doesn't really count as going to the theater, does it? <laughs> At least it gives her some culture for a change. Something better than the hours she spends in that VR world she calls a life. Hey now, that VR world makes her happy, no? I don't know. I just don't see the appeal of living your life like that. It's not really living. Uh, tell her that to the millions of wire heads out there. Hey, bon pomeriggio, Bishop. Welcome to Global Ops. Okay. 
As the title suggests, we monitor global operations. Everything that happens inside our grid comes through this room. It's okay. our job to sort through it all and ensure that treaties and alliances are held up. The king does most of the work, but we like to think we help. Okay. Each of the five consortium C-3800 vessels have their own list of supporting entities to monitor, and in most cases, police. So all that landmass or orbital territory is what we call our grid. Good to know. Oh, here we go. Damn, now this is pretty. <laughs> I don't want to say serious, but I'm going to go with Hod. The thing on London docks uh, in, in Felix, though. Not a ship that showed up with a bunch of corpses. The London police weren't releasing many details to the public, but now they're spilling everything to us in a TS packet. And it's a lot to go through. Okay. Top of secret packet. It's uh. just what we like to call the information packets we receive that are for our eyes only. It's everything to do with the case, including the King's own initial observations. One second. Yes, it's because... What the hell? The 21 people were shot to death with AK-47 rifles? That's not AK enough. AK-47. The casings found all date back to... You're not going to believe this. 2013. This doesn't make any sense. That's long obsolete weaponry firing bullets from before the war. I'm sorry, Bishop, but the King has made this a priority. We need to concentrate. Okay. I'll leave you be. Damn, do I really do the, need to do the tutorial? Can't I just skip it? That is the holographic situation room. It's where you can watch dirty holovids when you're bored and feeling uh, lonely. Whoa, whoa, I am listening to this, you know. Oh, hey, boss. Uh, I was just telling the bishop about the uh, dirty holovids. <laughs> All jokes aside, the hollow situation room is actually for mission briefings. Well, how should I? Don't you think it's at least a little peculiar? What the f I fell? About something. I learned a long time ago not to look. 25's mood swings bother me. Yes, yes, fine. But I'm telling you, something is going on with Pawn 7. Just get back to work. You may be okay with turning a blind eye around here, but I'm not. Whatever you say. There's just no idea with you, is there? Piss off, Patricia. Why is everything dark? This makes no sense. Oh, hey. I know you probably want to get to know me and all that crap. But Rook 25 has just stuck me with many of Pawn 7's duties. I am a little busy. Mm. Okay, Good whatever. Day. You are too kind, Bishop. Uh, you're kind of a dick anyways, so that's fine. Oh, I still don't get why the hell everything is dark. This makes no bloody sense. How the hell am I supposed to get out? What the hell? Mission information, primary, secondary objectives, complete the bishop training scenario. I still have to complete the fucking scenario. Just this thing that was glowing before, which I wanted to get out of because it was so fucking boring. So I have to do it and pay more attention, not to get my my civilians killed. Well, 
Welcome to the introductory consortium bishop training scenario. Why, thank you. I'm Rook 25, and Jump I'll be platform. your guide for today. Your personal containment unit can store matter in energy form and has built in healing and repairing functions. The battle also utility suit and the salt helmet solid represent your basic combat protection gear. Utility energy. Anything else? Walk up to virtual soldier. Into utility energy. Walk up to the virtual soldier. Killing everything, great. Uh, where's the weapon? It's right here. Okay. Now, now incapacitate these virtual bad guys before they hurt the hostages. bringing your enemies down, get up close and stick them with nanites to incapacitate them indefinitely. Notice that you can inject multiple targets simultaneously. Ah, I was too late. Too, s too slow. I was shooting. Okay, let's incapacitate this guy as well. Another one. Incapacitate. Okay, done. What about that one? That looked like it hurt. Use utility energy to power your medical nanites. Either select the numbered slot on your HUD to auto heal your injuries over time. Or select individual organs to heal from your inventory. I am healed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop killing civilians! Okay, did it myself, thank you. The Kinetic Assault Rifle, or CAR, is your ultimate combat weapon choice. And unlike the SEAL, it does not need utility energy to function and instead... Nice work, Bishop. The Kinetic Assault Rifle, or CAR, comes with a deeper damage to build shields to shreds. It is also a consortium issue non Pick up grenade launcher. Where the hell is it? Now, use the car to either kill or incapacitate the virtual barricades. Neutralize all targets and protect the civilians. Civilians 
should be oh, what the hell. Stop killing the civilians! Shit, they're all dead. And that's it. You're done. Exit Good the trainer through the wall labeled exit or stand in the middle to spawn more robots to practice. Ah, oh, so that's what was happening before. Spawning more stuff instead of exiting. Okay, shut down. Hmm. Spore Zenil and meet your crew. I already did. Hey Sonic, Close welcome to the stream. Angelos two fighters have just multiplied into two dozen. <laughs> Still not in my girl get handled. Six and Kieran. Now is your chance to meet the great Bulgarian nuisance. He's on the okay. Holocom now and is acting well, you'll have to come see for yourselves. Let's meet the Bulgarian nuisance then. How many times have we gone over? Go to mission of breath. And here he is now. You see? I'm not trying to play any games here. I'm only trying to prevent this from turning ugly. Again. Good. Good. This is very good. And how is Bishop Six? You are feeling strong, I hope. Ready for your first day? I'm ready as I'll ever be. He's quite the Boy Scout, isn't he? Enough posturing. Either tell me what you want, or get out of our way. <laughs> you have no idea what is happening here. Poor little girl. Your king must be blind. Did we not just go through this song and dance a month ago? And did your daddy not give you a good spanking for it? My oh, father a spanking. will not coming to your rescue this time, knight. Come now, Kirill. It's Christmas. How about you let us pass, and we'll get into this another time. I promise. How does next Tuesday look for you? Mm, listen very carefully. You will land and surrender your warship immediately. If you do not, I will blow you out of the sky. You've got to be kidding me. Give me a minute to confer with my people. Clearly you do not understand. Comply now, or I will take Zenlil from you by force. A minute, Carol. That is not a request. One, will you please inform local authorities of our location? and to expect possible plane debris to follow. I'm already on it, sir. Can you see now why I've called you all here? Oh, <laughs> yes. He's probably just blowing smoke. But there's an edge to him I've not seen before. I mean, he's usually hopped up on himself, but never has he outright threatened to kill us. It's no doubt his attempt at revenge for what Bishop Eight did. He appears to be rather unintelligent as well. Or is this an illusion? The subject of his intelligence is one of constant debate around here. Well, I think he's not only stupid, but also irrational and hot-headed. A nasty combination for someone in his position of power. It's very deceiving, though. The use of old planes to stay under the radar. His bravado. The love his men have for him. I think it's a very intelligent role he plays to feed his all-encompassing ego and get what he wants. You give him far too much credit. Oh, well, thank you. But I never said we should be taking him seriously. Just that he's acting a little off. Until we know what has changed, if anything, we'll treat him as we always do. Now, let's see okay. if I can't deflate his bloated ego a little. Put him back on. Angelop is no longer transmitting. Wait a second. Sorry, boss, we got company. Uh, looks like a... Well, it's a bloody boarding carrier. It's only a few hundred meters behind us. How did it get so close? I can't explain it. It just came out of nowhere. It's also emitting some kind of scrambler signal. Uh, I can't get a lock. What the hell is... Uh -oh. I've detected two new incoming F-35s. One's a few kilometers behind the other. There's a... There's a gathering energy source of some kind coming from the lead fighter. He's seven kilometers off the port side now and he's closing fast. 
Okay. So five kilometers. I can just bypass the carrier signal to regain targeting control. You better make it quick. There is no way he's that stupid. Almost got it. Three kilometers. There it is. We're getting hit. Wait, the Habitat 5124 incident. I think this is the same delivery system Stormboat reported. Wait. Chill, hold up, boss. I bet my mind on it. Uh, we may have ourselves a problem. Hmm. Fuel reserves Just have a seat over here in the last. Secondary turbine engaged. Where's the second fighter, Wade? Talk to me! I can't see a bloody uh, thing, boss. Guys. Not a bloody thing. There guys, is. You may want to. Oh, shite! Get down! Shite! Save Pawn. Is everyone alright back here? We got two down and a room riddled with bullet holes. What the hell just happened? I haven't got an answer, Terry. I'm sorry. No bullet in existence can penetrate Tenlo's plate. It just doesn't make any sense. Just relax, Wade. We need you focused. Now, tell me about your girl. How badly is she hurt? Yes, sir. It looks like she's broken bloody back. We've got major shipwide failures, our weapons, primary engines, cargo containment unit. They're all out. Okay, Wade. Okay. Our primary's back online, and I'd also like to be able to shoot at the bad guys. Half an hour for primaries, 15 to 20 minutes for manual weapons. Just do the best you can, and do it fast. Yes. Six, be prepared to aid Rook 9 in defending this ship. Okay. Good. Let's hope it won't be necessary. All right. Let's hear what he has to say for himself. Now are you prepared to surrender, little girl? Drop the ridiculous act, for God's sake. This is not like you, Carol. You just shot up two of my people with that little stunt. And if you think, even for a second, that you're going to get away with that, you have another thing coming. Tell me something. How does the cold hand of death feel as it takes its grip around your throat? I think I can stall him for a little bit, but we need a better plan than this. Have you completely lost your mind? If you destroy this vessel, you will only bring the full might of the Consortium down on you. I'd say it's pretty simple. Lost we stall long enough to fix our guns, and then we flip his arse back to mercenary oblivion. Carol's Damn. temper will never give us enough time. I have grown to enjoy your company. Let him use the border Sorry, carrier. Six, but mission off Excuse me. Say that again, Kieran. You let him use the carrier. When he boards, we simply separate the head from the snake. And when only his men board us instead, Kieran has a point. If we pretend to surrender, Kieran might just fall for it. And I bet my life on him boarding himself. Egomaniac that he is. All of this madness today is far beyond your threat level. Threat level. Mm. You consortium scum know nothing about the world. The I like the enthusiasm, but, but I don't think so. Key. I'll take care Are of you it. You just handle you things when he boards. Right, so we okay. just make it one, and the rest you should fall into make place. A mistake. Like when you got hijacked running, what was it? Five tons of black market ex-gone materials from Lebanon to Baghdad? Those murderous Syrian and Iraqi mercenary groups chasing you, they sure didn't like you being in their airspace, did they? Hey now, that sort of sounds familiar, doesn't it? I will only put up with so much disrespect, Knight. I'm sorry, Carol. Really. But you do have me in an extremely difficult position here. <laughs> and so we come full circle. To the point. You will inform your Rook-9 that he is to land Zenlil at the coordinates I have already given him. Go along now and do what you are told. But we don't have enough fuel to reach the coordinates you have given us. Your EMP killed our primaries, and I'm assuming that you'll never let a refueling ship anywhere near us. If you'll only listen to me for two minutes, I think I have a solution. Do your crew a favor and stop speaking. Let the men talk. Hmm. Bishop Six. May I speak to you for a moment? Just a sure. little chat before your night forces me to shoot you down. This is good. A sensible bishop for once. Angelo, 
Let you and I focus this on... This is no negotiation. And did I not just tell you to stop speaking? So, Bishop, all of this excitement on your first day, you must be feeling a little overwhelmed. Keep him talking, Six, and don't make him angry. Okay. Ah, oh, poor little Bishop. Let's see now. You've been rudely awoken by Rook 25. Your new plane has been malfunctioning all morning. Pawn 1 over there hates you. What else? Oh, so many things. You want me to cut to the chase? How about you tell your people about Pawn 7's untimely demise, hmm? It's not very consorting of you to lie to them. Is it? Well, how does he have access? Bitch. What did he just say? He has access what to our visual <laughs> stuff. So you've not told your bonds. Why don't you have someone take a look inside what was once Bishop Aid's cabin? Do not look to her for permission. Look at me. It's okay, 19. I... well, I can go look myself. It'll only take a minute. You will not leave this room. You will call another bun to look now and put them on the loudspeaker. Patricia, come in, please. Is that you, 19? So why are you calling me Patricia? We have a bit of a situation up here. Please don't ask me any questions. Can you just do me a huge favor and go look inside Bishop Hate's old cabin? Get back to me on this line ASAP and don't come to Mission Ops. Sure. Of course. Give me just a few minutes. Wade, go ahead and unlock the cabin for her. It's done. All right, Carol. Now that you've stirred up even more trouble, let's get to it, shall we? What can we do to make you go away? Go away? But we were just getting started! Cameras, Bishop. Those who hired me have managed to install spy cameras and sound equipment within your vessel. I can see into every room. Tell me he's making that up. He is absolutely lying, boss. It is impossible. We're gonna say that it's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Perhaps your Rook 9 is involved. What if they are all lying to you? Have you not thought about that? I know exactly who committed this murder. Would you like to know the truth? Bond 19. Come in. I'm here. Did you find anything? There's... There's... There's blood everywhere. His head is... I... I... You... You... I... I... Get out of here! <laughs> He is dead. Pawn 7 is dead. My god, you people are like children. That is really not necessary. I will decide what is necessary. So rude. Where are we? Ah, yes. Cameras. Pawn 7's death. The big mystery. There are no cameras aboard this vessel. Don't listen to him. It's the eyes of everyone. He has access to that. Of course I do. Not like what you hear. Maybe it was me. <laughs> there was no murder. It was an accident. I have no idea why Pawn 7 went into that room. But he tripped over himself and hit his head on the keypad of the locker. It looks like he broke his neck. <laughs> I had you going, didn't I? Pawn Seven's death was not an accident, and his neck was not broken. His skull was crushed. Yeah. <laughs> Did you mean Rook 13, Mr. Kieran Boyle over there? He and your Pawn 4 both came on board at the same time, one month ago. This was almost immediately following the death of my men at the hands of Bishop Eight. Coincidence? I think not. 
Enough! I have reached my limit, Angela. I won't let you poison my crew any longer with your sputtering nonsense. Stop poisoning my crew. You can destroy us, you can board us and try your hand against our bishop, or you can bloody well listen to what I have to say. What's it going to be? I was hoping I could make you this angry. Something about English women with authority in their voice. It makes I me thought she was Irish. All over. Make your decision. I am in a good mood. The bishop here has certainly amused me enough. Let me hear your proposal. Let us evacuate onto a mission pod. We'll happily leave the area and hand Zenlil over to you. What do you say? Under one condition. The bishop must stay on board and surrender to me. We have much to discuss, he and I. Are you serious? I am not about to hand you my bishop on a bloody platter. I could just tell my men to open fire on you right now. What do you say, Bishop? Will you surrender peacefully to me? Yeah, sure, why not? I will follow orders. You are like a little puppy biting at the heels of its master. So it seems, little knight, that we have ourselves a deal. I will give you five minutes to do as I say and evacuate all but the Bishop. Five minutes, and I want you off that ship. Wait, will you please prepare mission pod one? Set it for autopilot towards island, and we'll pick it up when we're done here. No problem, boss. Already standing by. Go ahead and load it with enough junk from the cargo containment unit to simulate our combined weight. That's a nice touch, sir. Very nice. Yeah, scan can't they just scan? Life signs. Okay, Captain Picard. Do you want us to go to warp speed while we're at it? <laughs> what I think she means, Six, is that such technology does not exist. Tell me lockdown systems are up and running. They are. Good. Let's get everyone in here then. All personnel. Elana, show the bishop what we've got for him. Yes, sir. We do have ourselves an emergency weapons locker. Obtain gear from the emergency weapons locker. In there you'll find a couple weapons to choose from. You better hurry this up. They're positioning that carrier just behind our tail. Damn, he's impatient. Okay, launch mission pod one now. Mission pod one is away and it looks like two of them are following it. That sound, ladies and gentlemen. That's the sound of a warning carrier tearing a hole through our hull. It's showtime. Just remember, Six. Disarm and surrender to his men. When Kirill comes aboard to gloat, that is when you arm up and take him out. I have a feeling that these are the wrong bullets. I want to drop like half, then pick up more of the other stuff. I suppose I should remind you all that there is nothing to worry about. We have a plan, and I can assure you that we have everything under control. Okay, I just know kill this everyone. Is an unusual situation, but Bishop Six is highly skilled, and I am confident he will repel this attack with ease. And good luck. We'll be safely in Ireland before you know it. Yeah, let's go to Ireland. Uh, where should I be going exactly? Take the stairs up to the lounge, head to the hangar bay. Okay. Here or through there? Disarm yourself immediately. Do what he says. Holster your weapon and let Kirill come to you. Where do you think that is better? Now do not move. Sir, we have the bishop and he appears to be surrendering. Excellent. Okay. Hold your position. I'm on my way. Can they just kill everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, waiting for the big guy to show up. Shut your filthy mouth or I'll shut it for you. <laughs> 
Kirill Angelov is a great leader capable of returning Bulgaria to its former glory. His father may have fallen for consortium charms like the rest of the world. All of you puny ants falling into place for the New World Order. New World Order. You served under Angelov's guidance since the resource wars, and you would be smart not to anger him. He is far more intelligent than he appears. Mm. Don't you dare patronize me, scum dog. <laughs> I know you think of me as a fly, and that you are waiting for the right time to strike me down. You warrior bishops are all the same. Nothing but vicious, power hungry dogs. I'm not a dog. I guess not. Now shut up! I am on board. Bring the bishop to me immediately. Yes, sir. We are coming. Go downstairs and talk with Kirill. Okay. How do I go downstairs? Ah, through here. Good boy. Where is he? There he is. Isn't this wonderful? We should not waste any more time, Kirill. Let us finish this before it's too late. In due time, my little underling. We have plenty of time. Now that we are, well, mostly alone, I wanted to speak with you, man to man. This whole ordeal has made me very curious about you. Hmm. No deals. I am sorry. But this can only end one way. First, though, I would like to know what makes you so special. Why all of this fuss over such an insignificant consortium spec? You can tell me. I can keep a secret. Hmm. I'm sure you can. Uh, so much more than a consortium spec. Who are you then? Just take out your damn rifle and end this now. Wait! Try and lead him into the brig. I have an idea. Uh, okay, I won't tell you in front of your men. Perhaps you will be more willing to speak with me in private. Excellent yes. work. Get Stop him alone and you'll have your chance. Follow me then. The rest right. of you, stay where you are. Come here, boy. <laughs> Go, Six. So. Out with it then. What is the mystery behind this day? Who are you really? And who wants you dead? Okay, wait. Guess the whole brig. Now. How are you doing this? You can't. Ugh. I have secret powers. Bishop, good job capturing Kira. He'll have some questions to answer when he wakes up. We kill them. The rest of them are already to clap themselves. Release the Atmo shielding and let them return to the boarding carrier. We've got what we wanted. Thank you. And don't worry, Six. It's only a little high-end sleeping gas. He'll wake up in the brig with nothing more than a head. I need you to come back to mission operations. Right away. Like one guy falls down and all of them surrender? Yeah, sure. That would really happen. People, I think we've only got a minute or two before our friends out there start playing not so nice. And our weapons? We're good to go on this end, boss. Let's see what that bishop can do. Before he heads for the guns, I've got an idea. Can you patch me into the F-35s? No problem. You're on. Pilots are threatening homeless mercenaries. I am Knight 15, commanding officer of the consortium vessel Zenlil. In an effort to seize control of this vessel, your leader has been captured by our bishop. In exchange for lenient jail time, Angelov is telling us your names, where you live, where your family members live, anything we want to know. If you do not wish to have an enemy in the consortium for the rest of your lives, disengage immediately. <laughs> that should do it. Wade, do me a favor and fire a couple of shots across a few of their bows. Give them a little scare. You've got it. 
So why don't they just shoot back and kill us? We are a defenseless ship. There's no hope here. Angela has betrayed us. They're not disabled and not too powerful. We must retreat. Bah. We're still running off of home at beginning of attack patterns. It looks like we've got ourselves a good old-fashioned dogfight. Bishop, I need your other guns right away. You can access the manual weapon system through the command interface inside mission operations. Ah, uh, where is that? The bottom of the stairs? What stairs? This one? Alright, so this is Zen's manual weapons control interface. Now let's get this thing done. Quick crash course before I let you at it. Your left control can lock and release non-lethal EMP tip missiles. Aim the cursor, then press and hold to lock onto a target. Once the lock's been made, the missile will fire on its own and harmlessly swat your target from the sky. Your right control is Zen's point of this laser. It's most useful for destroying incoming missiles. But that bad boy can also obliterate fighters in an instant, killing the pilot. So try not to uh, take it there if that's absolutely necessary. Yeah? Whoa, that was close. Also very close. Anything else? So? And we're dead. Or we're done. Not dead. You saved the day and managed to prevent over half of them from committing suicide by a consortium. Hooray! Job. <laughs> Bloody hell, B. Not even Bishop A could have done that without taking a single hit. And our newbie Bishop here managed to do it on his first day. And six. Now that everyone knows, I want you to start an internal investigation into the murder of Pawn 7. Just ask around a little, oh, but Bishop. don't push too hard. I'll be in blow ops with my head in my own work. Okay. Can't talk to this guy. Still can't talk with this guy. So this? I hear Night 15 wants you asking around about Matt's so-called murder. Yep. Are you here to grill me? Yes. It doesn't matter, does it? News spreads fast around here. Someone must have told someone who told someone else. Ending in Pawn 4 telling me. Pawn 4. <laughs> no chance. He's far too self-centered. Rook 25 probably told him, no doubt starting as a threat. You know, stop bothering me or I'll turn you into the bishop. Hmm. Nope, forget it. I will not point fingers. Okay. Fine. You, okay? Good enough answer for you? I think you did it. Maybe while you were sleeping. Do you sleepwalk, bishop? That's a, quite a possibility, actually. Oh, this is too much. I'm pretty sure it's getting worse. Well, if it is a virus, and I think that it is, then it's likely spreading its way through Zenwin like one it. system at a time. Oh, the trouble with that is, Wade won't listen to me. Hmm, nah, not Kirill. But maybe the people who hired Kirill. Planted hmm. during our most recent repair, maybe like some kind of backup plan, you know? If Kirill failed, goodness, look at me pretending I'm Nancy Drew. You've never Nancy heard of Drew? those books? Apparently, they were popular back pre resource wars, but they've made a huge re emergence in the VR book market these past few years. Yeah, right. It's nothing. He's just a little stubborn sometimes when it comes to this ship. He refuses to admit it could be an invasive virus messing everything up, but he's been in the cockpit all day. Hey, maybe you could talk to him. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. Strength in numbers! Not to mention you're a bishop and I'm just his poor lackey. Anyway, if you don't mind, we've all got a lot to do around here. And I'm no exception. Okay. Let's try to convince. Except I can't get in. Well, that's too bad. Already talked everything with her. Let's try to find someone else. There's no one left here. Bishop, nice work with Angelov. Uh, can I question you? Where is the E? No. No questioning. Is my bed? So I'll take the elevator up. Yes, a bishop. Well, why don't you sit down and we can talk? I'm sure pawn of 51 will be a little longer at the least. Hey, I will not abide, I promise you. Have a seat. Bravo. Good man. So what can I help you with? <clears throat> if this is about her uh, personal life, then I have nothing to say. It's none of my business. She thought classical music meant Pig Floyd, and she has never even heard of Machiavelli. Other than that, she is a fine officer. I am proud to work alongside her, and would vouch for her in a heartbeat. Hmm. I hardly think her romantic life has anything to do with this investigation, yes? So we are done on this subject? She liked the other bishop. Okay. Whatever. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, Kendra. I truly hope that everything is okay. Everything's fine. Now it is at least. Okay, Bishop. It was nice talking to you and everything, but can you please let the lady sit? Thank you. Hey, are you ready to experience how tables can be turned? You're dreaming, old man. Now, let's see. Was it my move? Yes, it was. And, uh, please, take your time. Hey, Bishop. That was some pretty amazing work with Angelov. The 283 separate recorded incidents under his belt was about time someone put him behind bars. That damn the computer brain of yours. Yeah, well, it's a mixed blessing when it only allows for 1,533 hours of sleep a year. That is not very much, <laughs> Bishop, if you were wondering. Oh, hey. Right, I guess you're wondering what else we found in the TS packet from London. Eyewitnesses claim three or four large transport vehicles left the Felixstowe docks only minutes before police arrived. They were headed for downtown when the police apparently, well, lost them. Poof, vanish it. A bunch of unmarked transports. You know, since the war you can barely let out a fart in London without a 15 cameras seeing you do it. Followed by the police raining fire down on you. Has it become? It's been like that for what? 14, 15 years now. I mean, it's not that bad as people living there sure appreciate the security. 13 years. 277 days. Well, since they put up that gross private citizen tech wall and installed all those micro cameras. No. Except to say the London police are likely holding something back. They claim they're dealing with a security breach of their mainframe and that automated monitoring systems have been unable to detect the vehicles. Something stinks. There is no way they just up and lost those trucks. 
Whatever happened to those good old-fashioned police work? Without the cameras and the sensor arrays, those bobbies are useless. Mm. Yes, but which one? We thought the same thing. And according to what we can tell, there are several high-profile hackers residing within the London area. Adrian Draper, Alvarez Famosa, and Jonathan Gonzalez are three of the big ones. Hmm. With the right tools, it could be any of them. And good luck finding one. Oh, why the hell would I know? <clears throat> so I'm told the bishop here has been tasked with investigating Pond 7. I'm assuming he has some questions you'd like to ask us, don't you, Bishop? Hmm? Really? Oh. Let's get it over with then. Ask away. The truth? There have been 2,952 operations since the consortium was first formed, and this is the first time a murder has occurred aboard a C-3800. Not to mention the first time one's been EMP'd, boarded, and shot up. Today has been nothing short of insane. That's what I think. <clears throat> Neither of us have left global operations since this morning. As you may have noticed, things have been a little crazy around here. Um... Actually... No, neither of us have. Not until after the incident took place. I sometimes wish we had those suits the Swedes wear, you know. Now you can piss without going to the toilet. Yeah, I want no, to hear what she, she has to say. That. Hey, relax. We've got nothing to hide. I went to the washroom, actually. Right around when it happened. But it's a straight shot from Global Ops. The cabins are on a different level altogether. I don't know. I guess I didn't want you thinking Kendra had anything to do with this. She's a good kid. And we're all a little stressed out today. Can you really blame him? Hmm. Yeah, I could blame him. Have said that. So, Bishop, is this how you want to make a first impression? Running around the ship, making people point the fingers and accusing us all of murder? I'm not going to sit around here and listen to this. I'm sorry, Kendra, but I don't think I can play after all. Something has put me in a foul mood. I think I will go back to work. There's a plenty hmm. to go through from the London to TS attack. I should have warned you. He's got a pretty decent temper. I guess I'll join him. Get some work done. It's probably best if you just lay off for a while. Let him cool okay. down. Hey, Platinum, how's it going? Thank you for following. Ask him anything else? Nope. Hey, I'm sorry about that. It's fine. I understand. We've got a lot to do anyway. Maybe we can play some more tonight. Thanks. I'm sure. He likes her. Mm -hmm. Who else can I interview? Shadows are all fucked up. Actually, let me check if there's something in options to fix the shadows. Mm, advanced video. Shader detail. Yeah, very high. Check detail. Oh, I don't want to hear options, I want to change it. Hi. Model. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, nope, that was the maximum. Um. Okay, that worked. Back. Back. No, shadows still look like crap. Okay. Come on, guys, got another four million tasks to 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, not a chance. You get the hell away from me. Uh, don't Stop think so. It. Go away. But I need to question you. Oh, hello, Bishop. I can't help but feel terrible about Point Seven. He was a good kid. One of the best. I must Sorry, say. Bishop. I know I you're busy, glad but I would appreciate it if you'd stop by Global Ops much. for just a few minutes. Someone the Queen would like to speak with you. There's no immediate rush, whenever you're able. Do you have any idea why that pirate would do what he's done? Why he wanted to kill you? Silence! Oh, I can do. can talk some more and a little she later. Can flirt with her later. Just to give me two minutes. Uh, where should I be going? Meet with the Consortium Queen in Global Operations. Okay, I'll, I'll, so I'll go there. I'll go there first. Be around here somewhere. Uh, Hello, B. I'm down at Lower Avionics trying to repair this bloody ship's automated defenses. And big surprise, she isn't cooperating. Oh, and I can't unlock the hatch, so don't ask. Safety protocols and all that. Ah, well, if she doesn't start cooperating, I'm gonna pour a drink all over her main board. And I guess. Anyway, try not to get your kitty snort all over my buttons and switches. And stay out of my chair. Yeah, I just wanted to question you actually. So, where the hell is Global Operations? If I was Global Operations, where would I hide? Upstairs, maybe? Here? Would she be the queen? Hey, Six, are you ready to meet with the queen? Yeah, sure. Here, hang on one moment. Oh, and be forewarned, she doesn't like it when you waste her time. So, choose your words carefully. Incoming, Good afternoon to you both. Let's try and keep this quick and to the point. Bishop Six, first, it's wonderful to finally meet you. The king has been particularly adamant about you, and of course he sends his regards and his regrets for not being here. Mm -hmm. Cute, and call me mum. It drives me nuts, but they all seem to like it. Mum, okay. Right to it. No bullshit. Good. Now, I wanted to start by expressing my sincerest condolences over what happened to Palm 7. He was an exemplary officer and I'm told an integral part of your crew. He will no doubt be missed. Yes, he will be. It should also be noted that if it wasn't for the bishop being quick on his feet, we may have also lost Pawn 1. I heard. Well done. Bishop, but don't expect a gift basket or commendation. You did your job and you did it well. All of which we expect from our bishops. Okay. Good man, that's what I like to hear. Right. So, um, about Pawn 7, I wanted to. At it, at, hold on. We'll get to that in a minute. So, Bishop Six, the King has managed to trace the takeoff point of Angela's boarding carrier to an airbase outside Aderna, Turkey. Hidden on the servers of this base was a document Angela had apparently written for his men. It detailed one fact of their mission. Bishop Six must die, or someone would kill them and their families. What? <clears throat> In all fairness, Mum, we can't believe anything Carol says or does or talks about doing. Even this document could have been planted for the king to find. Hey, Platt. Carol is no slouch when it comes to subterfuge. True. 
And this is why I want you speaking with him the instant he wakes up. We need to know what he knows, if anything. And he may be more willing to talk now that he's been beaten. Hell, he may even respect the bishop for beating him. But that's not important right now. What is important is to find out why. Why you specifically? Why now? And yeah. perhaps, who did you go and piss off before joining us? Who knows? Well then, take a guess. There must be something in your past, something you've done. <laughs> yes, Platinum. <laughs> I'll read or sometimes watch, but... Not many people do. I guess they don't even follow Twitch that much. Excuse me, the Guardian Church? One of our biggest financial supporters. Not to mention the fact that I'm close personal friends with Rick Perlman. What did you do? Well, I... I just said what I was, was thinking was right. Uh, um, Six. Okay. What on earth do you think you're doing? Tash. I'm Bishop, telling the truth. I don't know what game you're playing here, but it stops now. Uh, wasn't any game. Oh boy. I want you to think real hard about what you say next. Damn it, Six! What is wrong with you? I'm going to give you one chance to apologize for wasting our... Uh, actually, you know what? Just cut the crap or Night 15 and I will continue this meeting on a private CMC channel. Are we clear? Hmm. Um, should I just remain silent? Good. Now, Kira, do you know why he did what he did? Or who could have hired him? Okay, then I believe you. Good. And try to remember this. Don't call me ma'am. Incoming AV communication. Uh, mom, ma'am. They're all Who the same. Invited weeks? It wasn't me, I swear. Good afternoon, everybody. Terran, mom. Ah, yes, Bishop Six. I was hoping to catch your attention for a moment. The light blesses my luck, it seems. Colin, it's good to see you. I trust you've been filled in on today's events. I have, yes. I mostly just wanted to confirm that we're a go in Ireland. The Stormbird will be about an hour behind Zenlil. Oh, and I heard Bishop Six brought down Angelo. We're always a go for Ireland. Oh, the ancestors must be keeping an eye on you. Okay. <laughs> Very good, Bishop. You're a quick learn. I'll give you that. Yeah, answer. somehow the game is related to Ireland. Like the ship is that? going, making their way into Ireland. Some sort of glitch so. in our minor systems. Wade and the King are working on it. He assures me it's nothing major. Hmm. The King never told me of any glitch. It's just a no virus. Offense, Mom, but you've got other things to worry about. This is true. So, is that all you wanted, Weets? We will be seeing you in a few hours. Or don't worry, all. Platinum. They Maybe don't have any potatoes. Got better things to do. Why must everyone keep calling me by my last name? And just one minute, Bishop. That is such a dreary thing to call you. What is your real name again? Ah. Uh, I'm oh? not saying. And why not? Because I can't remember. He certainly is. I only wanted the man's name. And he can't give it to me. 
Does that sound like a properly fit bishop to you? Can you hear me? Hello? Bishop, you've been destiny to fulfill by the Lords of Light. And you cannot save us all without first saving yourself from darkness. Well, that was certainly interesting. First save myself from darkness. Weirdness. And why is my connection not affected by whatever just happened to his? I have honestly stopped trying to figure things out today. Well, let's try and get this meeting finished before he comes back, shall we? Now, Bishop, last topic of the day, Pond 7. I find it curious that the very day you board Zenlo, one of our most respected pawns is found dead only a few hours later. Mm. Yeah, well, I hear Night 15 tasked you looking with that. into it. Good. You can only help the investigators in Ireland by stirring things up a little now. Also, we'll be using your CMC records as part of the investigation. <laughs> you have problems at school trying to figure stuff out, Platinum. <laughs> Um, I think I'm the killer actually, because I have amnesia and all, uh, or not amnesia, but I'm a body of someone else, so I probably Good was the killer. Him. Right. So I will speak with the king about everything we've discussed, after which he can decide what our next move will be. And tonight, Fifteen, you and Wade get that boat to Ireland in one piece. We will. And you be careful too, Mum. There's no telling who else out there has been given this EMP weapon. Night 5 has already been told to repeatedly scan for heat signatures at long range. We don't know whether or not Kirill's was the only one of those cloaked boarding carriers, and we're not taking any chances. Excellent. I don't think he's the king of Ireland, he's just we'll the king fine. of the this Consortium the Foundation thingy. I hope you're right. Aren't I always? I'm glad you're still here. It shows initiative. You can leave now if you wish, but I was just curious if you'd like to ask me anything about what you saw. Maybe um, about the Queen, or yeah, the sure. team. Sure, let's ask some stuff. What's the deal with Wit's weirdness? Souls been pretty tough. But the feeling I don't like Night 18 very much. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's just say Steel. that Wit, Night 18, has a particular way of being. When he gets worked up about something or another, Night Eleven calls it the Wheat's weirdness. It's hard to explain, to be honest. Mm. Can you believe he was the Consortium's first official knight? He's been with us for ten years. Okay. <laughs> be careful where you say that. I hate to break it to you, but you are surrounded by Guardian Church members. I am not one, but I have many friends who are. Religion. Well, we can talk some more later. I've got some unfortunate calls to make, starting with Pawn Seven's family. His mother and I go back quite a few years. We were friends during my university days. Oh, and I'll have Wade load a new VT scenario for you. So head okay. over there when you have a second. Made to complete five levels within the civilian defense virtual oh, trainer. Oh, oh, oh bugger. She's really pissed off now. 915 on Route 25. One of you need to shut down power to lower avionics immediately. She's got a mind of. Wait. Come in, Route 9. What is going on? Route 13, I want you and Paul 24 in lower part. avionics That's on the double. Sir, the door is not responding. Let me try it remotely. Oh, remote door controls are not functioning, and neither are maintenance access points. Well, figure it out, now! What the hell? The hatch door from lower avionics to the cockpit has just unlocked itself! Enter lower avionics Six. from the cockpit. That means you're up. Enter lower avionics from the cockpit and get weighed out of there. It looks as though we're going to the cockpit. Okay, how do I go to the cockpit? It's getting worse. Thank you to us, Ru. Here somewhere, there was downstairs, yes, okay, let's go through here. I think it's through here. There's a stairs here somewhere. What are you doing, Six? Oh, well, I don't know what it is. I'm 
looking. I don't know what the bishop's problem is, but I'll handle it. Stand fast, Alana. Without a BUS, you'll only meet the same fate as Wade. Six, where the hell are you? I don't know how to get there. Enter lower avionics from the cockpit. The cockpit was there. Rook 9 is nearing death. We must do something now. Bishop 6, I should not need to remind you what your job is around here. Get to the cockpit and into that bloody hatch! But I don't know where the hatch is. I'm in the cockpit. Rook 9 will be dead in two minutes' time. Wait a second, I think it's... Well, I'd be damned. The door from the medbay ah, has just hatch. opened itself. Are you seeing this, Kieran? Yes. And I hatch can see Rook 9 now. Whatever was happening in here... It must have stopped when the door opened. Minor glitches, my ass. Rook 9 still requires medical attention. I'm going in. Be careful! Avionics well, from... I'm oh, trying! Well, Doesn't open. That was fun. Wade! Are you alright? What happened in there? Oh, my head is bloody well killing me. But I think I'm alright. Thanks to Kieran anyway. I was just about finished with the repairs to our auto guns when the main battery started surging electricity. Ooh, I guess I must have blacked out after that. Someone is toying with us. Why did the system lock out remote access points and door locks only to kick back in when Wade was about to die? Zen locked you out? Wait, I almost died? According to the MUVI, you were less than two minutes from death. I must insist that you remain in the med bay so I can repair the remaining damage. There's only so much the medical elements can do. Bloody hell. And now, uh, forget it, Kieran. I've got to get back to the cockpit and finish repairs. Wade, doctor's orders. Forget it. I won't be responsible for not having weapons if we get into another scrap. I'll let Rook 13 prod at me when I'm finished. I promise. So can we talk about the elephant in the room now? These so-called system bugs that have been going unchecked since this morning. I'm still unconvinced there's anything more, to be honest. Whatever just happened down there could easily be attributed to the EMP. There's no telling what kind of residual effects that bloody thing caused. Stop it. Just stop. I have never even considered saying this before to you, but I think you're being an idiot. You're stressed, angry, and you don't want to believe what's right in front of you. Um... Yeah, okay, I think there's okay, virus. <clears throat> and to all of you, well, you let them take care. This to anyone. We don't want to further scare the crew for no good reason. It's holding back information from them with such a good idea last time. No, it's fine. Right. The fuck happened? This is just weird. Is this where, where I was supposed to go all along? Uh oh, oh, oh bugger. She's really pissed off now. What the fuck? Night 15 on Route 25. One of you need to shut down power to lower avionics immediately. She's got a mind of- Wait. Come in, Route 9. What is going on? Group 13, I want you and Pawn 24 in lower avionics on the double. Sir, the door is not responding. Let me try it remotely. Oh, remote door controls are not functioning, and neither are maintenance access points. Well, figure it out, now! What the hell? The hatch door from lower avionics to the cockpit has just unlocked itself. Six, that means you're up. Enter lower avionics from the cockpit and get weighed out of there. It looks as though the eyes vitals are decreasing. How do Whatever I... Happening in there, it's squats. getting worse. Here it is. There's no hatch. I can go up. What are you doing, Six? I'm lost 
not knowing what to do, so I'm exploring the ship through hatches that I haven't never seen before. Does that explain everything to you? I don't know what the bishop's problem is, but I'll handle it. Stand fast, Alana. Without a BUS, you'll only meet the same fate as Wade. Six, where the hell are you? I'm here, but I don't know where you want me to be. Enter Lord Vionix from the cockpit and save Wade. Oh, the cockpit should be that thing over there. We must do something now. Bishop Six, I should not need to remind you what your job is around here. Get to the cockpit and into that bloody hatch! There is no hatch here. Rook Nine will be dead in two minutes' time. Wait a second, I think it's... Well, I'd be damned. The door from the med bay has just opened itself. Are you seeing this, Kieran? Yes, and I can see Rook Nine now. Whatever was happening in here... It must have stopped when the door opened. It's locked. Minor glitches, my ass. Rook Nine still requires medical attention. I'm going in. Be careful. I can't. It's locked. How do I unlock this? Oh, well, that was fun. Wade, are you all right? What happened in there? Oh, my head is bloody well killing me, but I think I'm all right. Thanks to Kieran, anyway. I was just about finished with the repairs to our auto guns when the main battery started surging electricity. Oh, I guess I must have blacked out after that. Someone is toying with that us. Hatch. Why did the system lock out remote access points and door locks only to kick back in when Wade was about to die? Zen locked you out? Wait, I almost died? According to your MUVI, you were less than two minutes from death. I must insist that you remain in the med bay, so I can repair the remaining damage. There's only so much the medical man can do. Bloody hell. And now, uh, forget it, Kieran. I've got to get back to the cockpit and finish repairs. Wade, doctor's orders. Forget it. I won't be responsible for not having weapons if we get into another scrap. I'll let Rook 13 prod at me when I'm finished, I promise. So can we talk about the elephant in the room now? These so-called system bugs that have been going unchecked since this morning. I'm still unconvinced there's anything more, to be honest. Whatever just happened down there could easily be attributed to the EMP. There's no telling what kind of residual effects that bloody thing caused. Stop it. Just stop. I have never even considered saying this before to you, but I think you're being an idiot. You're stressed, angry, and you don't want to believe what's right in front of you. Okay, okay, I'm on it. <clears throat> and to all of you, you may not want to mention this incident to anyone. We don't want to further scare the crew for no good reason. Because holding back information from them was such a good idea last time. Come on, hmm. Alana. Ease up. No, it's fine. She's right. I admit that I should never have done that with Born 7. But this is different. They are already on edge, and I'd rather not have them start turning on each other. Just do what I say, Alana, please. You're the boss. Six. I think you have a virtual trainer scenario to run. Do I? Or oh, rest in my cabin. I think I'm going to rest in my cabin. Because that virtual scenario is stupid. Hello, Bishop. I have an urgent matter to discuss with you. Okay. Uh, Thank you. We are safe to talk in for now, anyway. I took advantage of the problems we've been having, managed to hack our sensors and disrupt those in this room. I'm really not sure where to start. I barely trust myself right now. Okay, I've been a pawn on this vessel for about three years now. And you can trust me when I say that I know all these people, and I know them well. Lately though, I've noticed... Well... <clears throat> can I trust you, Bishop Six? Of course you can. <laughs> he actually thinks he could screen me? He's one hell of an engineer, but I'm bloody Rook Nine. <laughs> Tell him you trust him, and let's hear what he has to say.
Yes, it is, Bishop. I know he thinks we'd have no reason to be watching your CMC while not on our mission, but he'd be wrong. Now tell him he can trust you. Bishop, can I trust you? Ancestors, watch me here today. <clears throat> I was doing a diagnostic on our communications a week ago. Routine, something I've done a thousand times. I didn't think much of it then, but when Angelov showed up, well, I knew what I'd found was something, I don't know, more. One more thing. I was clearly a goddamn church member. You have to promise me that you won't tell anyone else what I'm about to say. And I'm nobody, Bishop. Not Rook 9, not even Knight 15. This isn't so funny anymore. I know 64 and he's a good man. Honest, down to earth. Should I tell him or should I not tell him? Uh... Okay, well, here goes. The records I found showed over a dozen communications within the past month, all between the medical bay and an unlisted number in Bulgaria. At first I thought it was only a little odd. No other calls from the med bay went anywhere else except Pawn 24 Sister in Ramburg. And now, well... You've got to be kidding me. Keep him talking. It should only take me a moment to confirm what he said. This bloody thing wants to work, that is. Of course it's possible, but not easy. Someone like Route 9 could have done it, though. That's partly why I never went to him with what I'd found. I was afraid of him. I'm still afraid of him. This is really something else. It's pretty simple, B. If I was working with Angelov, then Angelov would have succeeded. <laughs> yes, that's probably true. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there is one more thing I need to tell you. Something that doesn't help Wade's innocence. Thanks, B. <sighs> now let's hear what makes me look so guilty. You know those experimental bullets Angelov hit us with? Well, during our last major repair, only two weeks back, I happened to notice... Atmospheric stability failing. Evacuate this room immediately. What the hell does that mean? It's locked. It shouldn't be locked. Why is it locked, Bishop? Yeah, I think it's the air. It's getting thinner. We've got a situation here, people. I can't access the atmosphere or security controls to the bishop's cabin. Someone open this bloody door! Rook 25? I'm coming. Hang on! Wait, have Pawn 32 meet me there. I may need her. Pawn 32, report immediately to the bishop's cabin. And hurry up about it! I knew I shouldn't have done this. Shouldn't have opened my damn mouth. Rook 9, you son of a bitch, help us! Well, that's easy for you to say with that helmet giving you all the air you need. Not unless you both want to die. You'd have to not only share your helmet, but your BUS as well. The helmet activates and uses a built-in air supply. Okay. Does that mean I'm going to suffocate if you don't, Shara? What are they saying on your CMC? Can they help me? Here, guys. I'll have you out in no time. Just hang in there. Oh, Anna. Thank the ancestors, please. Hurry. Hurry. Just stay Boss, calm and try to breathe normally. I'm still seeing double here. Normally. I can't concentrate okay. for shade. I mean, yeah, I can do that. God damn it! This is useless! It's acting as if this one room has been put into lockdown and it won't recognize my commands. How much time hmm. does he have? Three minutes before Pawn 64 is sucking on nothing but his own fumes. I want them out of there, now. We're trying, we're trying! <laughs> I can't do this. I can barely see what's on my bloody screen here, and my head is spinning off my shoulders. Alana, tell me you and 32 can open that door without his help? We're trying, but... Well, it either opens or it doesn't. The air is almost entirely depleted. I'm trying to contact the king. There's got to be something he can do. <coughs> Bishop, the other thing I had to tell you...
No. <laughs> You've got to listen to me right now. A cockpit bishop. During our last major repair, Angelov's blue lights. The cockpit. What about the nine? It must be the nine. Route nine? Okay. What the? Right after we die. open now. Get in there. This pawn is dead. No shit, Karen. Your lack of compassion, brother, is really getting on my nerves. I'm sorry if my professional detachment bothers you, sister. You mean your bloody emotional detachment from everything? And how many of us have to die for some bastard sick amusement? All right now. I want an explanation. Six? Only talking. Are you sure about that? We're not far from Ireland now. We'll land at our headquarters in Dublin and figure this all out then. It may not be safe to land anywhere else, not if we've been compromised. Odd. Wade, did you hear what 64 said? No, boss. I was a little busy trying to help. The King will be reviewing our CMC logs momentarily. They are downloaded directly to the King and can only be accessed by him and the Queen. It's too big a security risk to have all our logs on external servers like Zenlal here. <clears throat> okay, everyone. So here is the score. First, Wade. I want our auto-weapon systems operational yesterday. <sighs> okay, boss. I'm on it. Once that's finished, I don't want any more macho nonsense. I want you in the med bay so Rook 13 can look you over. I was planning on it. I'm... I'm sorry I couldn't help Mackay. It's not your fault. You did what you could. Six, I want to see you in my office immediately. It's the last cabin on your left before reaching mission ops. I've already locked down that section of the plane, and after you speak to me in my office, you are to have no further physical contact with the crew until we reach Ireland. Is that understood? Are you kidding me? Being around you is very clearly poison, and I won't see another crew member succumb to it. Yes, that is one place you can go, after you come and see me. There, or your cabin. The entire BT system is directly interfaced with the King himself, to prevent tampering. If Zenlil's systems are compromised, then that booth is just about the safest place for you to be. Okay. <laughs> I think that's fairly unlikely. While I'm sure there is a riveting story behind that statement, we really don't have the luxury of getting into it. Now. Does anyone have anything pertinent to add? What if we have a mole on board? A pawn, maybe. I don't know. What else could this be? Tell me I'm wrong. There's no point speculating without concrete evidence. It's as simple as that. One step at a time, and first, let's get to Ireland in one piece. Yes, sir. Of course, you're right. Oh, wait, does seem hey, a bit wait, suspicious. Just one minute. This is a private channel between us, so please speak freely. You've been spending some time with the crew since Pawn 7 was killed, and I was thinking if you even had a guess as to who may be responsible. I could keep an eye out. Maybe we'll get lucky? I don't know who could be. I think I was the one. Dad, 
That's why I asked you to guess. Do you know what it means to guess something? Do you maybe want to try again? Fine. I'll be sure and remind you how cooperative you've been when the next pawn turns up dead. Is it this one? Yeah. Good. Nice and prompt. I don't want to be near you any longer than I have to right now. Not with Wade the way he is. So, please, have a seat. Where's mystery? So, I haven't asked you here to berate you with questions about my dead or nearly killed officers. There'll be plenty enough of those in Ireland. Nor am I going to ask you again why you think someone is causing all of... this. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt, boss. I thought you should know that our auto guns are repaired and ready. Good. Now, to the med bay. Way ahead of you. <clears throat> As you may have noticed, Six, I care a great deal about this crew, and I also respect their opinions. Following what happened with Angelov, I've asked them to report their encounters with you. Hmm. All in all, it seems you've handled yourself well. Most of the crew have nothing worth reporting. What about you? How do you feel you're fitting in? I'm glad to hear it. They really are the finest. Night 15, come in, please. It's Rook 13. You do know that the CMC is not a radio, yes? You can just say what you want. Okay. We have disposed of Pawn 64's body. His remains are now within the med containment unit. Thank you, Kieran. How's Wade? Pawn 24 is treating him now. He will be fine. Glad to hear it. Anyway, I'm glad we had this talk. You and I always need to be on the same page. <sighs> what now? The lock isn't responding. I think we're in trouble. Oh no. I don't think so. This is something else. What the hell is going on, Wade? It's like a bloody light show back here. It's the virus, I'll bet. Clicking into overdrive. I'm on my way back to the cockpit. Two minutes. I think something real bad is about to happen. Well, now. Who the hell are you? Hello, Karen. Just sit down and don't get in my way. I'm here for him, not you. Why don't you show oh. us the traitor behind that voice? Take the helmet off. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. Shut up and sit down. I cannot let you do it, Seeker. You must not be allowed to reach the Churchill Tower. Did he just say the Churchill Tower? In London? It may be a she, Alana. Well, that explains what happened to Pawn 7. He must have walked in on whoever that is as they were tampering with Bishop 8's bus. Be careful, Six. This so-called officer of ours is clearly a little confused. Do you have anything to say before I end this? Mm. Angelov was nothing more than a means to an end. His EMP helped spread the virus I planted. He was never expected to succeed. It doesn't matter who I am. And why am I doing this? It matters to me. To save countless lives whose existence will be snuffed out if you are allowed to live any longer. <laughs> Good question. I don't think you'll be around to see why. So don't worry about it. All personnel, stay the hell on the second floor until further notice. I'm in the cockpit now. Good move, Wade. We don't want anyone getting in the crossfire. Come on! Now's your chance. Shoot me down. Prove you're nothing but a cold-blooded killer. Try to negotiate, Six. Failing that. The elevator's 
moving to the third floor. Oh, and there go the elevator sensors. Keep that doppelganger contained. Oh, there's no containing with this bloody virus run amok. Wade, can you track the traitor or not? My sensors are telling me there's bloody intruders everywhere, including the cockpit. I can't tell the truth. Someone managed to animate the suit remotely. Remote controlled BUS. Mm, way too much for power drain for the kind of efficiency we just saw. The suit would have fallen much quicker. What if somebody teleported from the suit? Some kind of fail safe recall system. Teleported? This isn't one of your science fiction movies, Kieran. When you rule out the possible, what else remains? That does it. I'm not taking any more chances. Remote control, teleporter, whatever. This day is slipping further and further from our control. Wade, patch my CMC into the ship's loudspeaker. I've had quite enough fun for one day. Okay, you're on. Attention, everyone. Attention. Today has been a long and difficult day for all of us. And I find myself humbled to have a crew as dedicated and brave as the men and women on this ship. While the day may have been long, unfortunately, it is not yet over. I am now issuing the security protocol X-03. All form personnel will report immediately to the barracks until further notice. This is for everyone's safety until we touch ground in Ireland. Thank you. You can't seriously be thinking of locking them in there. That's the plan, yes. Do you have a better idea to help prevent more of our crew from dying or killing each other? Because I'm all ears if you do. Locking them all in a room with a... <sighs> Stop magically teleporting killer. Seems like a good plan to you. Alana, don't push me right now. Excuse me! You can't deny that you've been making some pretty bad decisions today. Don't do this. <laughs> but I for one think it is getting us somewhere. Six is right. And you're going to regret this after you regain your senses. Good. The new bishop here really does have a brain. I really don't like reminding my crew that this technically is not a democracy. They'll stay in the barracks. Hey, hey. Come on, people. Reality check. We're not out of this yet. Can we maybe save the petty arguments for after we touch ground? <sighs> You're right. Wait! How close are you to fixing these bloody lights? Oh, give me some credit. I've got this virus by the balls now that it's shown us its ass. Very colorful. Thanks. <laughs> well, we're saving that one. All right. So first beat, I can't power down the system because there's a chip missing from the battery crawl control bank. Oh, hey. I guess you've already found it. Okay, now take that chip to the battery crawl and plug it into the control bank there. The battery crawl is accessible from the hangar bay and the galley. In the hangar bay, it's the hatch on the second level directly underneath the CCU.
about this, so where the hell is it? this hey plug the control ship into the battery crawl control bank Crawl access in hangar bay or galley. I think it's that thing that goes down. Not this. Okay, so I think it's on the other side of the ship. Could this be it? For a few seconds. Sounds good. Do it. We'll back up and everything is in the green. The virus is gone. I hope. Good work. I think we can all breathe a little easier now. We'll all be damned. Hey, uh, guys. I think the virus may have tampered with our local newswire connection. There's a channel that wasn't there an hour ago, and yet it's most voted over the past three hours. There's some seriously strange stuff going on in London right now. Oh, gods. Let me guess. The Churchill Tower. You got it. And we've also got a second incoming TS packet from London. This is not happening. Let me patch the newswire broadcast through the whole ship. Just a sec. If this freak thundersnowstorm wasn't enough... Supports are sketchy but conclusive, and I assure you this is no prank. Voice and image recognition have confirmed the leader of the Hoshes Takers is none other than Saad bin Laden. What? I assure you again, this is no joke. Saad bin Laden, you'll remember, was thought to have been killed almost 15 years ago during one of the final American raids against Al Qaeda. Your guess is as good as mine, folks, and all I can tell you right now is to stay by the newswire. The instant I know more, you will too. This is Malcolm Thomas, reporting from London, England, just outside the Churchill Tower. Thought to have been killed. Saad was killed, shot through the heart. I know an American bloke who was there when it happened. You don't think... No, Alana. I can assure you that the King will not be sending us to London. We've had enough excitement for one day. <clears throat> yeah, well, I had to be the bringer of disappointment, but... Don't you dare say it, Wade. I've just been given a course change from the King. <laughs> We're headed for the center of London. Seriously? Does he not know what we've been through today? Tell him to send Tiamat. Everyone knows Night 11 loves these types of missions. No joke, Alana. Five minutes until mission briefing. Come on, Kay. Do something! This isn't right! Okay, everyone. You heard, Wade. Meet in the hollow room on the double. Briefing in five. So, everyone's just going to ignore me now? A bloody Bin Laden in London? This isn't just insane, it's some sort of practical joke. It has to be. Alana, today is proving to be full of surprises. You should really learn to <laughs> roll with the punches. Shut up, Kieran.
Hello, Seeker. Yes, I know it's you. I understand Interdimensional Six. Games has created a video game from your start. trips to this world. Even calling it Consortium. Are you familiar with what they call their alternate reality game? Mm. Do you know who I am? Uh, not really. I told Vidal it was a mistake to open this connection to the uninitiated. This game you call Consortium was a mistake, and your rift should only be accessed right. by those That's prepared right. to better this world through the informed action. The king says wait, so we wait. Yeah, it would be nice if I knew what the hell I was supposed to do. <sighs> my childhood, my fragile development stage. Reduced to an ancillary alternate reality game, full of game lore, your world certainly is a strange one. I can assure you, it is. Your world is the first to treat the connection in the manner you have. Many are operated privately by governments, others by private organizations. Never has a connection to my world been handled so... publicly. Well, I suppose we shouldn't keep the others waiting too much longer. Just give us a sense of empowerment. Your IDGI and Canadian government are making the choice to send people through the rift. I'm only allowing you through with the hopes you will do what is wrong. Right. Let me return the question and ask. If you feel it is amoral, why are you here? <sighs> Fuck. Missed. Um... The man you inhabit was mediocre on many levels, many fields. He may not have known it, but he was born to be a vessel for your world. Okay. A dream state. You entered his mind while he was sleeping, and so he will never know the difference. The timeline splits. One instance goes on with the bishop waking up from his dream, with no memory of you or your actions. And in the other instance, as far as you're concerned, we're frozen in time and space, connected to a saved rift state, and therefore completely unaware of you coming or going. Okay. So because the connection exists, you may as well try and use it for good? I can appreciate that, sort of. But what about the others in your world who are having fun playing a game? Do you know how many Bishop Sixes are being maimed and killed as we speak? A lot. No, that was not an option. He had to be unaware of the process, or it would not work. As long as you keep him safe. He will be safe. Okay, now we've really got to get to work. And don't even think about trying to get out of this. You can either disconnect right now, or suck it up and help save the world. The choice is yours. Okay, I can help <laughs> solve the world, but right, uh, give me just a second to uh, close some windows and uh, turn on the mosquito killer thing.
Okay, so onwards. Let's save the, the world. King tells me he's ready for us. Zen, display priority consortium signal, authorization code 7383 Alpha. I guess I'll eat the snacks while I save the world. Horrible shadows. Happy holidays, everyone. So let's hear it then. Why us? Stormbird or Tiamat should be given this one. We're in no condition to be handling a mission like this. Elana, let him talk. Rook 25, I can only ask that you be patient. And trust me, you should also know that I have personally reviewed all of your CMC records, with nothing of note found. And I am told X03 is in effect. Executive Order 3. It is an emergency command only utilized when a knight loses control of his or her personnel and is making an emergency landing because of it. It has never been used in 10 years of consortium operations. <laughs> That's probably because no pawns ever cracked a fruity on us before. Or been murdered. Or been shot by bullets fired from a pre-war F-35. Unfortunately, that part of the order will have to wait. So, the bishop is in. And the king has never steered us wrong before. Okay, let's hear the plan. Good. We don't have any time to waste. Now, before I get into the details of this operation, I've decided to bring in another rook to remotely aid you. Not only can his political knowledge be helpful, but he also has personal ties with what is occurring in London. One moment. Some of you already know Rook 3. James Lensworth! Sorry, Rook 3. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. I thought you'd been abducted. I haven't heard a word in months. Hello, Taryn. Certainly been a while. Things have been pretty crazy up here lately. Disarming Strawman and Global was a real bitch of a job. I've been meaning to connect. Are you all right? What is going on? I'm fine. One minute I'm T.O. in my quarters, and the next I'm being dragged here by my assistant. Jim, you pencil-pushing bastard. <laughs> you know you still owe me a drink. Wait, you crazy bastard. I can't believe they keep giving you the keys to that bucket. <laughs> here, let me introduce you to our savior of the day, Bishop Six. He took down Angelov, survived an assassination attempt, and is all around a pretty great guy. Bishop, I still don't know what in the pits is going on, but it sounds like you saved some lives. There's a yeah, lot I'm of goddamn hero. good people on that plane, so nice work. Hell of a first day. Two people died. No one remembers that. That's a fine question. I will explain. Please, we are running low on time. The Churchill Tower, built over the River Thames, near the financial district of London, England. Oh, God. Did the damn thing blow up? No. Hey, Trill on Shadows. Welcome to the stream. From what we can so far ascertain, your daughter Darcy and the other hostages have been unharmed. Hostages? Is this some kind of bad joke? I know my birthday is coming up again. No, no joke. joke. Not like last year. I will explain everything. Now, as I was saying, the Churchill Tower is the second tallest building in the world, standing at 840 meters and consisting of 208 floors, including those below ground. The top 43 floors are in mid-construction and will soon be a five-star hotel. A partially constructed roof will thus supply several safe landing zones for our bishop to aim for. No offense to anyone present, but I'd like to request Bishop 10 for this mission. He'd get my dossier out of that nuke and waiting without breaking a sweat. Bishop 6 will get her back, Rook 3. I can promise you that. Uh-huh. If you say All so. Alright then. Hmm. Just breathe, Seeker. Breathe. I'm a breather. Good. It's not like they're judging you or anything. What we are mostly concerned with 
is what lies between the hotel and the businesses below. A currently unknown number of armed soldiers have seized this section of the building, the Churchill Tower Power Facility, specifically where Rook 3's daughter, Darcy Lensworth, is employed. British authorities have given us control of the situation, and we've been asked to handle things as swiftly as possible. Sir, the Newswire says these so-called terrorists are led by Saad bin Laden. How is that possible? Clearly, American intelligence over the death of bin Laden was incorrect. Someone is luring us, and we're playing right into it like a bunch of amateurs. It's Bishop Two all over again. Unless you have something useful to add, Alana, please be quiet. Well, you tell Bishop Six that this trap is shaping up to swallow him whole. What an asinine analogy. He's a bishop. He can handle any horse shit thrown his way. Voice and image analysis have confirmed that their leader is in fact Osama bin Laden's son. Here is his statement of their demands, as passed to us by British authorities. I Why would they put bin Laden's self. son in the fucking video game? XY delivery system, a holy crusade, NAU conspiracies, are suffering the wrath of God? And when did people start becoming infidels again? For all intent and purpose, Bin Laden and the men fighting for him should not exist. We also have no idea why they believe a VXY delivery system is being developed on site, and this makes them highly dangerous. Clearly, disinformation is involved. But the threat is real. So, if it's not a weapon, can we assume someone else let them into the tower for another reason? To lure us would be my first guess? <laughs> Maybe. These sons of bitches are just stupid and have bad information. I'm only exploring all possibilities. It sounds to me like you're only running your mouth and clouding the issue. Mind your own business, kid. Kay, look. I'm not about to take this bureaucrat's high-handed garbage for an entire mission. Relax, Boyle. Alana, you need to accept the situation and let us move forward. Right. Now. I'm... I'm sorry. Again. I guess I haven't exactly been looking forward to this visit with my dad. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about that anymore, do I? Oh, you're making me cry. Alana, don't. Just don't. Thank you, Night 15. British police, of course, have been explaining to this Bin Laden how ridiculous his claim is. To no avail. So who's it father? is time for action. Bishop, I know this is your first real mission, but I want the terrorists subdued and the hostages rescued by the numbers. This means following your knight's instructions to the letter. Okay. Did you really just say what I think you said? No, Bishop. From what we know, these soldiers have limited resources and very low-end military hardware. <laughs> From what we know, which means he's blind to them. And considering they managed to get into the center of London, you'll likely be up against soldiers with technology we've never seen before. 
I know you've probably never fired a gun before today, Seeker. Just keep your shielding up and avoid getting shot through the heart. 915. I will leave the remaining details in your capable hands. Good luck, everyone. And I've got some catching up to do. I'll see y'all at Mission Star. All right, then. All right. So, we've only got a few minutes till drop time. Brooks, I want you to start prepping by studying schematics and all the other background data that's been supplied to us. I'll be in my office doing the same. No one uh, cares about boss, the people who died. Uh, Kirill is awake and he's asking for the bishop. Well, he, he's actually having a bit of a fit. Bishop, maybe before you head over to the hangar bay, you could go and speak to him in the brig. You may as well see what you can find out. Just okay. make sure you have enough time to gear up in the hangar bay before it's time to jump. I'm geared up. Don't worry about it. Where was the brig again? Uh. There's uh out here. Here. Ah it's about time you showed up. Where you are from? I know you are a tree-hugging Canadian. Why does this matter? Oh, yours too. Let's not keep playing games. You have bested me, and I am at your mercy. But does your crew know of your bizarre brand of treachery? How you first helped me, only later to defeat me? What is he talking about? It's okay, Six. Play into this fantasy of his. See what he says. I can hear them now on that CMC of yours. Hmm. What have you done, Bishop? Will you tell them Wait, or shall I? With hands the bars. I had a feeling you might say that. Three times this morning, I spoke with you, Bishop Six. You are who initiated phase one, and you also told me to blame Rook 13 if the chance arose. I assumed you were testing my resolve, and so I played along. He had better be messing around. Alana, stay out of this. I mean it. He's attempting to turn us against each other, hoping we'll believe anything after today. No, I believe it actually that I'm the culprit. No. My other contact is the one who told me about Bond 7 through another coded CMC transmission. One of your crew has been updating me on mission details for weeks, whereas you only started talking to me this morning. Except you claim you did not speak to me. I'm in here? No. And since my headquarters is now being torn to shreds, I believe you'll have to trust me. I have people who know people. Oh, and I they have figured people, out eh? how to detect the CMC network. Mm. Do not take me for a fool. I can help you. I understand this crew better than anyone. How they operate. What makes them tick. I must admit, I never expected him to say that. Please, tell him you'll be his partner. You can grow up me later. But yes, something like that. Ah. Uh. I know I'm not getting out of this either way, so I might as well pick a side. 
This has been a lovely chat, but with your CMC on, it becomes dangerous for me. Perhaps we can meet when you are off duty. I know a great steakhouse if you're ever near Varna. Now, I believe you have a mission to prepare for. Unbelievable. That man never ceases to amaze me. He actually thinks he is going to get out of this. Anyway, like he said, go and prep in the hangar bay. Six, get the hell out of there. Go away, Bishop. He has every right to be here, Patricia. Bishop, you need to gear up. We only have a couple of minutes on the clock. Come to the hangar bay. There's the hangar bay. It's all set to go. Just plug yourself in here and stock up. Once you choose, there's no going back until you return to Zending. Oh, and make sure to grab a free fall suit, or you're not going anywhere. So, Bishop, once you're sure you have what you want, let me know and we'll get you off this boat. You're testing my patience here, Six. Please, get out of the room. Uh, I really have the good one. Okay. Uh, I'm not giving the go-ahead on the door with you still wearing a BUS. Put a free fall suit on. Free fall suit? Where the hell do I get a free fall suit? Since the free fall suit is for harmlessly free falling. Okay. So, uh, put this. To redo all of them? Oh, fuck's sake. I can't do anything. I don't have any armor. Ay, this is so complicated. does the vent do? I should keep the other stuff. I will need them later. And I needed two more of these, I think. Whatever. So, are you ready yet? I guess. Good. Okay, sir. He's stocked up and ready to break heads. We're already in a circling pattern around the Churchill Tower. Open the hangar bay door and wait for Wade's order. 
Bishop, be careful and avoid getting shot. Do not wish to see you in the med bay once this is over. We're in position, holding just above most of the turbulence from the storm. I should be able to keep it steady for your jump. Low you tilt. <laughs> Much better. Dead. Not so sorry to wake you, Bishop. We thought you should know about our little had been escort. By authorities. And that's the latest from here in London. I'm Malcolm Thomas. You guys see that? Huh? That one was a little close. But you have nothing to worry about. I'll run a full body scan. Just to be sure. Oh, fuck. was that? Two near hits in a row. I'm running a diagnostic. We are, well, mostly alone. I wanted to speak with you, man to man. This whole ordeal has made me very curious about you. That was not a random strike. The bishop's vitals are fluctuating. You're already I'm doing the flashback? Is the game already yes. coming to the end? Six, get to Bishop Eight's cabin. When you're ready, hit the lock and Wade will open it remotely. Hurry! After you? I'm detecting conductive elements in the Bishop's freefall suit. Just hang in there. I'm not about to lose you after everything you've been through today. I don't think there's much of a choice. Oh, he won't take another hit. So, I'm getting lightning yet. hits. Phantom Paradox in progress. There is a tower. Phantom Limbo. You've said it, how do you feel? My heart. 
husband, two children, and both parents were killed. Why did you do such a complex inventory system if you barely use it throughout the game? Use it like twice. I be logging in as another person now or hmm. and it ended Repeat to me what I've done, I remember it all. I didn't guess who the murderer was because I think it's myself. Okay, so the game is still in development, apparently they want to do another phase, but this is multiple choice kind of thing, so you can try different things and you will get different speeches, which will give you more intel on the game, so you really should play it a few more times. Global objectives. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay, we will end the stream for today. Uh, it's been a long stream already, I think nearly three hours. But the game wasn't as bad as initially as I thought originally. I will disconnect because the music is too loud. So I should be able to talk a bit better now. Um, so yeah, the game was 
interesting. Not what I was expecting. It seemed a bit crappy to begin with. I don't know why the hell they had the um, shooting scenes in it and the whole tutorial of shooting when you don't really do that much shooting at all. They also shouldn't have the inventory at all. It doesn't make any sense to have it. You just change suits, whatever, and that's it. So, it's interesting, and I'm curious, I will at least play it once more to try something completely different with the dialogues. It would be nice to have some way of skipping some chats, which you already know of. But yeah, it's a curious game. Let me see what, how much rating it actually is. Mostly positive. Released three years ago. Okay. I hadn't checked this page at all before playing it, because I just... Um, I don't like reading uh, information before playing the game. If it's a gift, I just like I like playing it blindly and just finding out how it goes. Uh, I think it's a bit expensive at full price, 9.99. Should be cheaper, but it's not it's not all bad. I think I will play it at least once more. Try some alternative things to figure out um, more of the global plot. But yeah, for now, this is the end of the stream, so bye-bye, thank you everyone for joining who showed up through the stream. Uh, no one full time, but yeah, I guess you can also watch it later on on uh, YouTube and stuff, so bye-bye, take care.